This apartment's a little bit tight. Look at this little drawer. What do you think goes in here? And this is interesting. The key thing right here is just wide enough to go in that little spot. And that's what's so interesting about this. It's a sunny place. It's quiet. It's in an awesome part of Manhattan. It's just tiny, really tiny. Subway seems to be working normally today. There's a same device for car. Every ride. I didn't know there were delays for the rest of the week. That took way longer than expected, but luckily the place that we're seeing is here in Manhattan. Oh, that is so hot. Old school Ferrari. Is that a Testarossa? This should be enough apartments so that if any of them suck, we've got a backup. Or do they all suck? Nice parking spot right near our entrance. We're in a really interesting part of Gramercy. Again, there's the building. This should be pretty good, but we've got back rub and sushi. We've got the fire department. And then there's this park just like sitting here. There's only one person in it. Gee, do you think this is an Irish place? Patty Riley's. I don't know, might be Scottish. I'm not Irish, I'm Swedish. And I'm also cheap, that's why I'd be happy to live here. There's a Target basically across the street. Oh wow, it's big too, they got two levels. Speaking of college, we've got another Irish place over here. And if you need some art for your apartment, we've got a frame place. Oh, cool, that's the Chrysler building, the very top, way up there. Now, if you don't have a bike like me, you can get a city bike right here. Then we got the cleaners. This here is a little ice cream place. And they're hiring, you just have to be able to work weekends when people buy ice cream. This is probably gonna be your go-to restaurant, the Crooked Knife. And even though I've never tried it, since it's on the corner and it's like a well-maintained spot, with an insane amount of outdoor tiles, you know they're doing business. Now across the street we have the Fairway, that's a full grocery store. And then over here, we have one of the last movie theaters anywhere in the city. And now if you want to turn your body into a living weapon, you can start today for 49 bucks. There's also an Italian kitchen over here. This looks like an interesting little spot. It's super small, but that's probably a good option for like a quick takeout. Or there will be Chinese. I like our little self-contained enclave of Manhattan over here. And the reason it feels like this is because this is one of those parts of Gramercy that nobody goes to unless they live here. So apparently the place that we're seeing takes up the entire floor. And luckily my bike didn't get stolen yet. If it turns out you want to live here, I will have contact info for the agent in the video description. First of all, it's incredibly sunny, and every room is looking out at like trees and nature. This doesn't even feel like we're in New York. Until someone tells you the price. So it's a pretty cool building. There's like this front section, and right out there is the street. Some apartments are up here, but ours is special. It's in the back, in this separate building right here. This is also where the garbage gets kept. But look, there's a really high fence, so no one's really gonna get back here unless they've got a key. And this little house part only has three units in it. What's the rent? I came here without checking. $43.95. I figured we were looking at at least five grand for the whole floor. And this is a two bedroom with laundry. Subscribe if you're having fun. 
The kitchen's a little tight, but it has everything. Dishwasher, four burner stove. Up here we got a little microwave for reheating food you couldn't cook yourself. There's enough counter space for what you see over there. I see a little sink sprayer, that's nice. But really the sunlight here, that's the big feature. Having a window right by this makes it something you might actually want to use. Oh cool, this place has an actual pantry right here. This is gonna be super useful right next to the fridge. But the big question is, what are you gonna do with the common space? On the other side of these floors, this is one of the bedrooms. So that's out. This common space by itself, this is seven feet by seven feet. You're probably gonna have to choose between a kitchen table and a sofa. I would probably put a couch over in this area here and then the entertainment center can go in that corner. That's where the wire hookup is. And if you play your cards right, you should be able to fit a coffee table in the middle here. And in this corner, you could probably get like one of those leaf tables and just put a couple stools there. That would actually give you a spot to sit and eat right here. Here. You'd have like one person sitting here and then another person here, but it definitely works. Living room views, kind of cool. We're facing east, that's why it's so bright. It's the morning right now. And this other window is looking out at the fire escape. So it's quiet and sunny. And that's what's so interesting about this. It's a sunny place, it's quiet, it's in an awesome part of Manhattan. It's just tiny, really tiny. But it's definitely workable. This bedroom's nine feet by seven feet. This window faces west, and look at that. You can see the, the Empire State Building right there. That's awesome. Closet space, not too bad, that works. We don't even have the light on. Again, it's nice and bright. You should be able to fit a queen bed in here, no issue. And if the bed's over here, you could probably get a dresser and a little desk. So let's say that's your room and you're sharing this with somebody. Their room is all the way over here past the kitchen at the other end of the apartment. Weird closet. It's kind of like triangular. If you failed geometry, I don't know if you could live here. Dimensions here, eight feet by nine feet. View's totally different though. We're looking out over this back patio. Um, I don't think anybody hangs out there because it's empty. And we don't have the Empire State view. So it's definitely quieter and you can't hear those kids screaming in the park. Oh, that makes me sound like such an old person. The bathroom here is not fancy. I like how they were able to stuff the laundry in here. And the lighting in here is good, just like every other room in the apartment, which is nice. Sink's big enough for two-handed hand washing. Medicine cabinet opens two ways. Why is there mirrors on the inside of this? I never understood that. I guess if you had a prescription sitting here, you could see what's on the other side without having to remove it. Let me know. And if you want to live here, check out the video description for the agent's contact and then pick another tour or video up here or here. I'll see you soon and subscribe if you're not.